We're going to Halloween Town! Gores don't like the looks of this place! I bet it's crawling with ghosts! Well then, what's that in the world about? The rightful fit of the light of the night with Camel! Do you really think so? Welcome to Halloween Town! Wow! That was the best shriek I've heard in ages! If you're that easy to scare, I'm gonna have a great time! Sorry, I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Jack Skellington! Halloween Town is my town. I'm the king of nightmares and the master of terror. If you want chills and horror, you've come to the right place. Well, well done. At the moment, we've got a little problem in Halloween Town. What kind of problem? Well, a problem like those. Yeah. Heartless, oh no. What a surprise! We haven't seen these before. Who who would have guessed, right? Am I right? I'm right, right. Wow, I didn't realize they were this weak to be honest. This is actually, I think to my knowledge, one of the easier worlds in the game. Which is quite nice, you know, getting something simple. Simple and, and clean. No, I can't make that joke. Ooh, 25, so that's a HP boost, isn't it? Ooh, it's been a while since we had one of those. It's been five levels, in fact. Well done, Teal! I didn't call them. In fact, I'd love to get rid of them. The Heartless go around attacking people instead of just scaring them. Why are they here? I was just going to ask Dr. Finkelstein the same question. I'm heading to his laboratory right now. Follow me. Sora, what should we do? I guess we'd better go. And that Bingo! You saw right through me! <laughs> Just a joke. Now let's get going. Learned terror and got the key beginnings. Nice. So, what's Halloween Town like? Let's see the map, shall we? Okay, so there's something there which we obviously have to get to there for. Uh, that one. We probably have to get to there, and that one we also have to get to there. So, okay, so it's gonna be quite a vast world, I think. Plenty of creatures to fight. Cool. I like this world. It's a lot of fun. The boss is quite easy, if I remember correctly. Um, so, then again, I've said that before, and <laughs> I was wrong. So, you know, maybe it isn't. Let's, let's, let's reinstate that. The boss is potentially the hardest thing I've ever fought in the game thus far. Yeah, that's a potentially accurate statement. There, let's let's go with that. It rings true. So we can use Jack when we get a higher level card. And he's, I can't remember what he does. I think he uses uh, magic spells. Also a blue free. I like the fact that we are getting blues. So I guess I should talk about all the uh, the people in, um, in the cast for this world. Because, um, you know... Uh, because that's what I do. I, it would be unfair to ignore all of them. Okay, they have sixes. I don't like that. That's, that's not good for me. Ah, oh, we can find out what Jack does if they don't have a good enough card. Never mind, I stand correct. No, we, we're never going to find out. You will never know. You will never know what they do. Ever, apparently. Um, so yeah, uh, Mr. Jack Skellington is by Johnny Ohm, who uh, voiced Jafar. Was that was that a Moogle for a blue free Moogle? So many blue frees. I like that. 
I like that a lot. I, I'm desperate for Blue Freeze. Um, so yeah, Jack is the only one we've heard so far. I will tell you the rest now. Um, I love the cast for this world. I really do. I, I love the cast for every world, but you know, like there's, like there's just some worlds where I'm just like, I, I relate to the characters more, and and you know, blah blah blah. Um, I like this world more because uh, I, I'm in it, uh, but I think I do a good job. Again, you can be the judge of that, but I think I actually do a really good job with this one. I am Doctor Finkelstein, um, and you know. It's you'll you'll hear that in the next cutscene. Uh, I believe I'm in two cutscenes. Yeah, I'm in two cutscenes. Uh, the final one and the next one. So yeah, that that's exciting in itself. I think. If you disagree, well, alright, whatever. But <laughs> you're wrong. But okay. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's gonna be good. Um, Sally is voiced by Shion Shion. Um, who has done some really badass artwork for me in the past because she's just the kindest soul you'll ever see. Um, so I'm grateful for that and also the fact that she does a really good Sally. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's pretty great. Um, and finally, Oogie Boogie is uh, is by Perugi, um, Kyle Perugi uh, Sela. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, for voicing, okay, he did a great job. Like I, I, I'm pretty sure there were like there were loads of iterations. Like he auditioned for it, and I was like, I really like this, but could you try and do a little bit different? Like try and do that, and then it'll be flawless. And he's like, Yeah, I can work on it. So he came back, worked on it, and it was so perfect. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you so much for all the hard work you put into it, because um, you really did. You did so many different variations, and I'm very grateful for that because they they turned out great. So, we will never find out what Jack does. Yeah, he does freeze. Okay, he does different magic. I thought so. I think it's freeze, gravity, and uh, something else, maybe? I might actually use a calm bounty, because I've got a level 2, and it wouldn't be a terrible idea to use it up. I'm getting a lot of 2s, which I'm super grateful for, because you know that thing about me saying we need them? Keep where we need them. We will need greens though, I don't know when we're going to get greens. Maybe Atlantica? Also, someone told me that they didn't start getting golden cards until World 7, uh, which would be Atlantica. Uh, which, may, will, it kind of makes sense actually, so... Uh, maybe that'll be when we get it. Or when we start getting uh, the golden cards. I was like, because we've seen, we've, there's a golden door each world, but we haven't actually seen any golden cards. That's quite rare, but we haven't actually had a single one yet. But that would, oh, blue nine, nice. That would make sense if we can't actually technically have one yet. So, yes, that might be the reason. Have I cleared everything here? I think so. Okay, number one. Do we have a one? We do. Let's use that, actually. Worst case scenario, I can grind for one, for uh, another one. I didn't actually mean that as a pun, but I'm glad I said it now. <laughs> but yeah, I just, you know what I, do you know what I love about this series? It's just, it's so good. Like, I can't wait until Sora Story's over so I can actually make the fan dub, like, as one continuous video. I'm gonna include bosses, I don't know how I'm gonna do the bosses, like, actually, let me have your input. Actually, no, seriously. Actually, no, seriously. Answer in the comments. Um, okay, I want you to answer two things in the comments. One, tell me what you think of the Finkelstein. Tell me what you Finkelstein. Ah, no, okay. Uh, but, yeah, no, seriously. Tell me what you think of that, because I do want to try and get into voice acting, and I enjoy voice acting. It's fun. Like, that's why I enjoy Persona 4 a lot, because Persona 4 was like a love letter to me. Like, it was just like, there's so many, so many people who have lines but they don't, like, it's not voiced already, and I can just try and impersonate it, and it was fun, I enjoyed it, um, and it was, it was getting, it wasn't necessarily about getting the voice perfectly with that, it was about getting the character, and that was what I enjoyed about it, because obviously I can't replicate a female voice to perfection. I mean, I can do an okay job and stuff, but apart from that, I mean, that's all I can do, you know? So, that's, that's just, that's, like, the boundary I was trying to, like, get across, but the, I don't know, what have we got here, Kingdom Key will be sold, um, yeah, so, like, tell me what you think of the Finkelstein, because that's important, and oh my god, I have so many things, do I have an 8 somewhere, no, but I have a 9, I, I have one of each, that's amazing, that's genuinely amazing, I must never get rid of that, um, 
Uh, yes, so, tell me what you think of that, but genuinely, uh, before I go into this door, which might be the right one, uh, ooh, gifted miracle, nice. Uh, is this the right door? It most certainly is. Exact three, exact four, okay. Yeah, before I go into this door, uh, and you'll hear me, <laughs> um, before we do that, I just want to quickly, uh, talk about this. So, the idea is, I release the entire cutscenes as a full fan dub after Sora's story. Then I'll do the same for Riku's story. Then I'll do a combined one where I actually do it in real-time sequence. So it'll be a mishmash of Sora and Riku. Um, because I want to do it as an actual timeline kind of thing. However, the thing that Square Enix did wrong with the 358 cutscenes is there were no bosses. It cut from one, the beginning of a boss to the end. It didn't work that well. Here's what I want to do. I want to include the bosses, but I don't want to include all of it. And the reasoning for that is, it just won't be as good. You know, it'll if you have if you have a full boss, it'll be say three to five minutes, maybe more, depending on the boss, and it'll be too long. So, do you want me to cut it up and try and get it in a way that sounds good, or do you want me to do the full boss, or do you want me to just leave it out, or do you want me to do something else? Please comment down below on what you want, because I need that kind of advice, because that, I, it's a project for me, but it's also a project for you guys, it's what I want to entertain you, I want to show you what it, how, as good as it can be, how amazing it really is. And that's where you come in. That's that's what you guys do. Um, and of course, during the bosses, I'll be using different quotes from the battle quotes. Um, I'll, so it'll give it life. But I want to try and, you know, I want to want to cut the bosses up a little bit. But how do you want me to do it? Like, would you mind if there was audio clipping? And by audio clipping, I mean the song changes. If that makes sense. Like it. It because if I cut up the audio, it wouldn't be in sync. It would be. Because it, it takes a minute or so for the music to loop around. I wouldn't be able to get the perfect loop each time. So, like, what do you want? Do you mind? Just stuff like that. But anyway, let's uh, let's go into this door. Um, that's enough of me talking about that. Um, I'm, You know what? I have so many blue frees. I'm going to get rid of a blue free. Um, do I have two sets of four anywhere? I don't... I do have on the... On a green. Part of me doesn't want to get rid of it though. Oh, actually, I have a. I have three falls there. Okay, never mind. I'll use that. Because uh, I don't need them all. Allow me to introduce Dr. Finkelstein, the world famous genius. Yes, maybe I'm too smart. I'm afraid I've created something horrible. Gores, what's that? Well, have you stopped to think about true memories? True memories? Our hearts are full of memories, but not all of them reflect the truth. The heart isn't a recording device. Even important memories change with time. They warp or fade, leaving us with but a shadow of what we hoped to remember. Could that be happening to me? It happens to everyone. Some memories grow ugly, and some become more beautiful. If we could recover our true memories, the world would seem completely different. So I devised a potion from forget-me-nots that brings our true memories back. Did it work? That's the problem. As soon as the doctor got a whiff of the potion, Heartless started popping up. Found the moon white moon experiment failed! No! My research is flawless! I just need another look at the potion to find out what went wrong. Unfortunately, it's vanished. Maybe someone swiped it? It must have been Sally. Jack, you've got to find her and get my potion back. Leave it to me. Can I tag along? What for? I want to know more about these true memories the doctor keeps mentioning. Excellent. Let's go find Sally then. So, what did you think? <laughs> Hopefully it's all good. <laughs> um, yeah. That, that was me. That was me as Finkelstein. No! My research is flawed!
far less, anyway. That was actually really shit. I could do it so much better. I could do it so much better, aka in the in the cutscene you just saw. I just did a really shit attempt there. <laughs> My voice wasn't prepared, I guess. It didn't actually it doesn't actually hurt to do the thing with the voice. You'd think it would, but it doesn't. It's much like um quite like doing a female voice. It doesn't actually hurt at all. It's actually quite comfortable. <laughs> it's so creepy. It really freaks people out, it's great, I love it. It's great at parties. It really freaks people out at parties, it's fantastic, you'd love it. Oh, it does fire as well, okay. Oh, finish them off. Well, you missed, but cool. I wasn't at all paying attention to experience. How, how good is experience going right now? Oh, well then. <laughs> Free Moogle! Uh, CP. I will increase stuff eventually, but uh, not right now.